Hello folks and welcome to another episode of the Gleaner Tech Review. I'm Peyton Wilmot. And I'm Suzette Hart and today we're here to review the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3. So folks, this phone is the flagship phone for Alcatel, the Idol 3. And I cram a lot of stuff in it. Stuff like... It comes with a 5.5 inch display, 30 megapixel camera that is. It also comes with an octa-core processor and 2 gigs of RAM. So Susan, I didn't expect you to tell the people of everything. What am I going to talk about? <laughs> I didn't tell them everything. You can talk about the design. Okay folks, I'll tell you about the design. So it's slim. It's a very slim phone. There's metal at the back, metal at the sides, Gorilla Glass for the front display and it comes with stereo speakers which is unheard of stereo speakers the idol 3 comes with some unique features one of which Peyton is very fascinated with folks i can't believe it the standard music player for this phone is actually a dj app where you can actually just go into it select two songs and scratch you're a DJ. Like you're a DJ. Yeah, you, you want that gun? Sure. Okay. Let's go. So, my five minutes of fame ended quite abruptly. Thank you, Susan. Anyhow, let's look at a different feature that this phone has. And uh, that unique feature is what again? It's 100% reversible. Yeah. It's actually saying that there's a speaker and a mic at the top, and there's also a speaker and mic at the bottom, which simply means that Whichever way you answer the phone, if it's upside down, the person will hear you and you will also hear the person. Another feature of the reversibility is that if you turn the phone upside down, the screen will automatically fit the orientation of the phone. You know, that is more than five minutes I got, right? So folks, <laughs> two awesome features that the device has and to be honest, we haven't seen this on an Android phone. It is possible by downloading apps, but this is actually built into the Idol 3. Mm -hmm. So let's talk more about camera. As I said before, the camera at the back is 13 megapixel, and the camera at the front is 8 megapixel. So uh, folks, we tested out this camera mm -hmm. a lot, and the front camera is really good yes it is for a phone that most people don't really know about it the 8 megapixel takes sharp photos but we really wish it had something to help in dark situations for selfies none of that but the back camera does have a flash and a 30 megapixel at the back of the phone just one complaint take the photos there's a slight lag so if the person is moving about or it's a fast moving pick the picture will come out a bit blurry but apart from that it's good for almost any situation now let's talk about the battery the battery is non-removable with a slim phone like this you can't expect to get a high capacity battery for me I only got like one day because I watch movies a lot but I expect for Peyton that he'll maybe get like four days because his life is so boring and he does nothing on the phone. Folks, that's not true. I 
have a life and I didn't get four days. I get a day and a half, two. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, the truth is, I don't use the phone as heavily for movies like Susan. But calls, web browsing, you'll get a day and a half. But for the average user who is really power hungry, you might need to walk with the charger. So in closing, folks, we have to say, the Idol 3 is a pretty decent flagship for Alcatel. The screen display is 5.5 inch and it's 1080p. You can watch your movies on it. The quality is good. It's also bright. The sunlight visibility could do a little bit more work. But yeah, the display is awesome for whatever you're going to use it for. And did I mention it comes with a high quality JBL headphone? which sounds pretty amazing. Yes, people will actually spend extra money for that. But you get it in the box. Mm -hmm. So folks, this is Peyton Wilmot. And I'm Suzette Hart. Thanks for watching and see you next time.